Hello. In this video, I'm going to talk to you about thioacetals. Thioacetals are the sulfur analog of, of the types of acetals I've been talking about in previous videos. So, for example, if you have cyclopentanone and you react it with acidic methanol while removing water, you're going to get the dimethyl acetal. If you do the same reaction but substitute methane thiol for methanol, you'll get the thioacetal. Thioacetal. So then, oh, and thioacetals have a lot of the same behaviors as regular acetals. If they are uh, placed in acidic water, they will hydrolyze back to the aldehyde or ketone. I'm just using cyclopentanone. Uh, and you can very easily form cyclic thioacetals using uh Thiols. And the cyclic acid thioacetal is a preference, not uh, for, for extraordinarily practical reasons, because uh, thiols are some of the stinkiest compounds out there. Smell that is added to natural gas is a thiol, rotting eggs is a thiol, skunks are, are thiols. So uh, the dithiol has a lower vapor pressure, so it's got a reduced smell. Now I'm going to talk about uh, the two things that thiols can do that regular acetal or thioacetals can do that regular acetals can't. One of them is the, the Mozingo reduction, which is a fun word, Mozingo reduction. Mozingo reduction is a reduction of the acetal or a reduction of a thioacetal using hydrogen and rainy nickel. This reaction is not catalytic in nickel. The nickel is consumed, uh, and it forms uh, nickel sulfide over here, misbehaving like it's some sort of strangely formatted thing. Right? The reaction cleaves all the carbon-sulfur bonds and replaces them with carbon-hydrogen bonds. So the part of the molecule that used to be the aldehyde or ketone becomes a hydrocarbon. The part of the molecule that came from the thiol becomes a hydrocarbon, and the sulfur gets attached to the nickel. Right? Rainy nickel is a finely divided porous nickel uh, metal form, sometimes used as a catalyst for reactions, uh, but in this case, it's consumed in its entirely. And then uh, thioacetals are also interesting nucleophiles in something called the, the umpalong, well, an umpalong reaction. Umpalongs, uh, an umpalong is a case where you take something that was an electrophile and make it a nucleophile. So it turns out that thioacetals are, when made from aldehydes, are kind of acidic, like, you know, not super acidic, but kind of acidic at this position here. And so like really strong bases like butyl lithium can deprotonate that proton and make this di thioranyl anion and then these things can be nucleophiles react with other kinds of electrophiles but one sort of interesting reaction is that they are capable of doing SN2 reactions so you can alkylate at that position chloro and SN2 type reactions, one, two, three, four, five, six, or. And then you would get uh, a kind of chain extension and the thioacetal is still there, but if you were to go and then hydrolyze that thioacetal back to the carbonyl compound, you have taken a uh, aldehyde and made it into a ketone with some extra carbons. So this is a pretty cool application of thioacetals as well. Uh, not all textbooks cover you know, both of these reactions, but it's pretty cool. The Mozingo reduction, if you've talked about the Clemenson reduction and the Wolf-Kishner reduction, the Mozingo reduction uh, makes an interesting alternative because it doesn't require acid or base. So this concludes my video on thioacetals and my series of videos on acetals. Thank you for watching.